and welcome back to the channel, GBL, the old Turks Five Acre Homestead. Look what I'm at today. I am uh, I'm cleaning up my old-fashioned Enterprise stove today. I have to uh, use my uh, my little sander here, my little palm sander, my Dewalt sander, and I'm going to take off some of the uh, little bits of rust that's on this cast iron top, and I'm going to try to do a really really good job with that. And I'm then I'm going to do some cleanup. I have a, a bucket of warm water here, and I'm going to be using some Dawn soap to remove some of the grease that's around the stove and here on the back. I'm gonna try and do a decent job with this stove today, and I'm welcoming you to join me as I clean my old-fashioned Enterprise wood stove today. So my first task, folks, is to get my palm sander going, and uh, you can see that there's some spots on the, uh, on the covers here on this stove, so I'm gonna try and remove some of those. I have some emery cloth here, on the bottom of my palm sander. My poor old mom, uh, she used to clean these stoves by hand. She would use the, uh, the water paper or the emery cloth uh, with a, just a little, little rag. I could see her doing that now and she would spend hours shining up her stove, right? So that's my goal today is to clean up my stove. As you can see up here on the top, there's a little bit of dust and soot from when we've been firing up this old stove for many of our Fired Up Friday videos. A great old stove though, folks, and I really, really enjoy it tremendously. I'm gonna clean up the oven as well. Like I said, I got some, I got some uh, Dawn soap here. It's a great brand. Uh, it got a handy grease into it. So, and some warm water. So we're gonna clean up all of this old stove. Let's just look over here for a second. I've got a lot of stuff, so antiques and things that I keep up on the top of those, up, up on top of the stove. So I've got that laid over here on this island. And uh, I'm gonna clean all that up as well and make that nice and shiny and put it back up on top part of the stove. That's gonna be episode one. I'm gonna do another video this morning as well, evolving this old antique uh, stove. And just look over here, here's my spread. I'm gonna have a little lunch. I'm gonna have a little breakfast, yes indeed. And I'm gonna record it and post it as a separate video. But I'm gonna make myself a couple of slices of damper toast. Uh, I'm gonna have a cup of tea. So I got my mug there and my, uh, my tea bag is there. I got my cream. I've got my margarine for my toast, and I like the cheese spread. So I'm gonna put some of that on my toast as well and enjoy my cup of tea. But before I do that, I've gotta clean all of these uh, antiques, these kettles and lamps and, and all that kind of good stuff. And I really need to do, like I said, a really, really bang up job on the top of this stove and up around. So that's my goal right now. And like I said, you are welcome to join me, folks. <laughs> the top of this old stove. You can probably see right here, folks, the difference I'm making with this uh, with this cleaning solution that I have with the Don uh, dish soap. Okay, it's doing a really good job, isn't it? Uh, cleaning off all that old grease and stuff, hey, eh? and, and the soot. Okay. We're using this stove now throughout the summer a few times, We're cooking some cod fish and cooking some cod tongues and. Are we doing a couple of breakfasts out here and that kind of stuff? Okay, 
Okay, I've got my table set up there now, folks, and I'm just uh, using this the mild soap and water that's here in this uh, in this pail uh, to clean some of my cast iron. And I'm just going to lay it out there, and I'll wipe that over very very soon. I just was stored up in the warmer part of the uh, of the stove, so I'm just going to let that sit there. I'll wipe that over and put that back up very very soon. But it was full of grease and and full of dust and soot and all that kind of stuff. So mild soap is good for, uh, for just wiping over cast iron, right? And before I poke it away, I'm gonna get a, a coating of oil put on all of this stuff. Okay. Here's a couple of more. Okay, just gonna try and clean all of these now before I pop them back. Just get most of the old grit and stuff out of it. I got a lot of this old stuff. I got a lot of it in storage at the old church. And I'm gonna to have to get that out too sometime this summer and clean all that up. I have some on the wall there behind the stove actually as well. Okay, here's a bean crop here. Okay, just submerge it into the water and give it a good cleaning. And I'm just laying it out here on the table now, let it dry somewhat. Some of this old cast iron, folks, is quite old, actually. Need to clean those kettles now, folks. That's what I'm doing next. Getting the old soot, and grease and stuff off some of these old kettles. And then I'll put them back on top of the stove again very, very soon. But it needs to be cleaned. It hasn't been cleaned in quite a while. I don't use these kettles, I have them just for display. Here's a nice copper one. Okay folks, down my ends of these here. Now I'm getting ready to clean out the oven in this old Enterprise wood stove. I'm gonna clean out the oven and then clean off the oven door. And then I'll be pretty much finished uh, with the cleaning of this stove. I gotta do a little bit more with the top, and then I gotta go get some oil and put a layer of oil on the top of this stove. Sometimes we just uh, throw some fish in here, some dried fish, some smoked fish, just to warm it up. And it just, just goes on the bottom part of the stove or on one of those grates that you see right here, some of these larger grates. And I also have some of these smaller grates as well. So all good, all good. Great place to come, light up this old stove, play a few hands of darts, and a few hands of cards, eh? Here we go. Love my old stove, I must say. Okay, I just wanted to show you the drawer in the bottom part of the stove here, folks. That is the emery cloth or the oil paper that I use to clean the top of my stove. I'm not sure what you use, when you clean your old fashioned stoves, your cast iron stoves. But if you use something different, I'd love for you to uh, to send me a message and let me know what it is that you use. Uh, Fendeli is the brand of this one and it's 220 grit. So that's the one that I use. I got several sheets of it there. I have quite a collection of lifters and pokers too, as you can see from down here in the drawer here. Uh, some of those instruments, okay, I'll just show you one. This, I'll take this one here. This one is used uh, for turning for turning the uh, the rods in the bottom part of the fire box for the, all the ashes to go down into the box. Now I cleaned this out very recently. I don't know how my pencil got in there, but I cleaned this out very recently and I put the ashes in my garden because ashes, stove ashes are great as a soil amendment. Got a bit of a wood there, so I'm gonna get at that, burn some of that wood. Here's some of my pokers. Got a few there. I got quite a few back here as well. So like I said, I got quite a few uh, pokers and lifters and all that kind of stuff uh, for my old fashioned Enterprise wood stove. Okay, I'm gonna get ready now and put some of these items back up on top of the stove. This, uh, this uh, US gallon jug used for water. It's a water pitcher or for uh, berry picking. That's what it was used for actually. Very picking here in Newfoundland. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put some of my kittles back up. Here you go. The two little nautical lamps. Okay, there's the red one. And here's the green one. Okay, be careful, Gary, you don't drop these. Very important. All right, there we go. I'm getting a few things up here. Where's my, uh, where's my old salty? There's my old salty. I had the pepper one too, folks, but that one got broken, so. I'm gonna finish cleaning and wiping all this stove stuff over. I'm gonna put it up into the warmer part of this stove, and then I'm gonna put some things on the stove. But before I put some things on the stove, I need to oil over the top of this stove. Pretty good job done there, folks. Uh, somebody was asking me in an earlier video, where are these Enterprise wood stoves made? Okay, so if I zoom in right here, uh, it's made at the uh, Enterprise Foundry Company Limited. Uh, Sitka, or the date of this stove, my guess is somewhere around the 1950s, 60s, somewhere in that area. If I'm wrong, then please, some of you people who are uh, uh, big collectors of, old, of these old stoves, you might be able to narrow down the date uh, to an even closer time. But I'm guessing 1950s, 1960s, uh, when this stove was, was cast and made, all right? So, finishing up here now. Okay, so I'm getting ready now to just uh, put a layer of vegetable oil on the top of this stove. Any vegetable oil will do, folks. I heat the better, though, because these stoves do get quite hot. And I'm using uh, avocado oil this time. Okay, so and I've used grapeseed oil. I've used lots of different kinds. Uh, extra virgin olive oil is good. Any of those high heat uh, oils is great for the top of your old-fashioned enterprise wood stove or any old-fashioned stove. If you use something different, again, let me know, folks. I'm just going to uh, sprinkle some of this over the top here, just like this. Okay, move my cloth away. And I'm just gonna uh, sprinkle it liberally over the top. And then I'm just going to go around with my cloth here. I got a nice clean cloth here. And I'm just gonna rub the oil into the surface, okay? And it puts a nice clean finish on the top. Now, don't use any animal-based oils, okay? Don't use any animal-based oils. Just use just use a, a, a vegetable-based oil. And it puts, like I said, a nice finish on the stove, okay? And I'm gonna be going all over this stove with this oil. Okay, here we go. And I'll show you after how, how nice it looks with the oil on, so it has a final, as a final thing, okay? And now I'm gonna be doing over uh, some of my antiques too with the uh, with the oil. Okay, let's just stand back, have a quick look there now. Looks much better, hey? Okay, looks much better. I got a little bit of a shine going on there. Okay. Okay, now. Very nice, very nice. Look at that. Okay, close this door here, Mr. Gary. Okay. go okay all cleaned up I'm gonna finish put a little nice shine you can see the shine there hey a gorgeous job done with my old-fashioned enterprise stove this morning I'm gonna finish cleaning up uh, my uh, my cast iron cookware and these kettles and I'm gonna put them on my stove on, on display okay, I got my kettles all shined up there on the stove folks I'm gonna do my cast iron now I'm gonna put a little bit of this um, avocado oil on my rag Okay, and I'm going to be wiping over all of the all of this cast iron, and I'm going to put it up here in the warmer of this old stove. Okay, here we go. Almost done. Do the cover, Mr. Gary. Put some avocado oil that will protect the cast iron for many many days to come. Do this little little skillet here, little frying pan. Look at that. Nice one for doing some eggs, eh? For sure. Or probably one slice of ham or a bologna. Okay, a little cover there. Another little another little skillet. I don't know how much of this stuff I've got. I got boxes and boxes of this stuff full, folks. Uh, I was heavily into the yard sales and the flea markets and the garage sales. And you're probably saying, what are you saying, Gary? You're heavily into it now as well. Yes, I do. I must say, I enjoy going to the yard sales and the flea markets and stuff. Always looking for that, for that score, hey? Some of my friends on YouTube, 
could go to him as well. Uh, hoping to get that score. I've, I've done pretty good. I've gotten some very interesting things, I must say, at some of the yard sales I've gone to. And a lot of my cast iron I've picked up at some of the flea markets, some of the yard sales, some of the garage sales, some of the estate sales and farm sales too. Now, I've got all that done. I'm going to get ready now and poke it up in the warmer of my stove here. Here's my bean crock. Okay, put that one right in the center. Put that big one over there. There we go. Put this one right there. Now, some of them might want to have the double up because they just don't have the space up there for them. Okay, put the covers up. go all right so there you go there you go my stove is all done folks ain't that gorgeous you bet it is you bet it is look at that look at that look at that beautiful beautiful job done with my cast iron um, stove all of my cast iron cookware as you can see I've got some more stuff up around uh, I'll clean that another day but here's my stove. Look how nice and shiny. I don't want to use it, but I am. I'm going to do. I'm going to do my breakfast very shortly. Look at that, and I'll do another video to show you that. Thanks for watching this morning. It's been a while since I did a uh, a cast iron stove, old Enterprise wood stove video. Thought I would do this one this morning. I needed to clean up my stove anyway, so that's all done. And thank you always for watching our videos. Uh, please make some comments. Let us know what you think of this old stove and the job that I've done with it. If you use something different to clean your stove, let me know. If you use a different kind of oil to protect the top of your stove and for your cast iron cookware, let me know as well. Always appreciate you guys tuning in to our YouTube channel. And that's GBL, the old church, Five Acre Homestead. Thank you and see you in our next video. Subscribe, folks, if you haven't done so.